Hi, I'm Eunice. Thank you for joining me again today. Today, I just wanted to share something with you that was a value in our family since my kids were born. And it's in Proverbs 18, 21. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. I am so grateful because I went to a church when I was younger where they really taught us this principle about how our words really do matter, how the words we speak over ourselves and over others really could bring life or could bring death. And so when my kids were born, I was really careful about the things I said over them. Now, I did not do this perfectly, but this is something that I always, um, like a principle that I held up in my head, which is I would be really careful about the words I spoke. I would bring words of life to my kids, not words of death. I cringe when I go to the grocery store or something and I hear a parent with their kid and I overhear them saying something like, oh, you're such a little terror or, um, oh, you're a little monster today. Why are you acting like this? When you say things like that to your kids, like if, if you're a kid and you hear your mom say, oh, you're a little terror, why would you wanna act and behave any differently um, if that's already what they think about you? And I don't know if you heard this study on the internet, but I read this study about how even speaking words of life over plants make them come alive and grow. But speaking really negative words help make them start dying. And so if the Lord even made plants like that, I just wonder how much more so every individual, every child, how the Lord created us to flourish from words of life and how words of just discouragement and death really can bring us down. Um, uh, but at the same time, I wanna encourage you. Um, if you've made mistakes in this area, it's okay. It's not too late to just repent to your kids and say sorry. There have been many times in my motherhood where I've had to pause and maybe I said something um, poorly to my kids and I had to stop and say, hey, mom is really sorry for that. Can you please forgive me? It's never too late to change. I am so careful in the words, even, you know, I, I am a homeschool mom. I homeschooled most of my kids for many years. And in that time, I was always careful to give words of life. Like you are so smart. You are capable. You can do this. You are a hard worker. And as I said those words of life, my kids were able to rise to that challenge. I am a hard worker. I can do this. I can overcome. Um, my school works hard, but I'm smart and capable. And another area that I was really careful to, um, in our household, where the power of words is important, is siblings to one another. I do not let my kids talk negative words to each other. Now, when negative words, that doesn't mean negative words have not been spoken. When they have been spoken, we pause and I, and I correct my kids. And I tell them, like, is that, and I try to unpack with them, is that really what you meant? Why did you say that? And if it's something that they really meant, I make them apologize. Um, and so those are the kinds of things that we valued in our home and we still value. Um, there, what adult even doesn't flourish under encouragement? All the more so our kids, they need our encouragement. They need to know that we are their greatest cheerleaders um, and that they have a safe place in the house to just be. Um, I just want to share a little card with you that my youngest daughter made, who is the biggest encourager that I know. She writes these little cards for us often, and this little card says, Mom, I love you, I hope you have a good day, and here's 10 hugs. When I look at her, I know that um, the Lord has gifted her with the gift of encouragement, and it's just something I pray that rubs off on myself, rubs off on all the kids, um, and also into each one of your homes. I bless your home. I bless your home with peace. I bless your home with encouragement. 
um, just that the Holy Spirit would dwell in your house and that God would give you ideas on how to speak life to one another, to your spouse and to your children and to yourself. And so I bless you with that thought today. I hope you have an awesome day.